in Alaska's Bering Sea using submarines to explore the largest underwater canyons in the world. We've been seeing really spectacular coral and sponge habitats. One of the most amazing things that we saw is a skate nursery. And it seems larger than anyone has ever seen in Alaska before. The corals in these canyons and along the entire shelf break are at risk from impacts of factory fishing. Big trawlers and even bottom longliners can really easily break and, and uh, uproot corals that can be hundreds or even thousands of years old. We need to protect these canyons and the vulnerable coral habitats inside them to make sure that we don't lose the fisheries that depend on these corals. Shell's planning to drill for oil in Arctic waters this summer. They're threatening this pristine ecosystem and the wildlife and the people that call it home. We're taking submarines, we're taking cameras, we're taking hydrophones, and we want to send those images back to the world so people have a chance to see what's at stake before we foul it up with drilling in the Arctic environment. Well, we're very concerned about all the activity in the ocean drilling that's coming up this summer. We fear an oil spill. This was our second dive in the Chukchi Sea, and it's actually the second dive that anyone has done in the Chukchi Sea. So what we're seeing here is still very new. We saw a, a bottom that was absolutely covered with starfish, a lot of basket stars. We also saw a surprising number of deep sea corals. Hardly anyone in the world, I think, realized there were any here, and we were seeing just dozens of them. Deep sea corals are, are recognized by the U.S. government and even the United Nations as providing habitat for fish and other marine life. People around the world are coming together to save the Arctic. We're calling for a global sanctuary in the high Arctic and for a ban on offshore drilling and unsustainable fishing in Arctic waters.